Hey guys, and we're back with the penultimate chapter of uh, Operation Javier of the Dark Side Chronicles. Um, I say penultimate because we're on chapter four of five, and as I mentioned in the last episode, there are actually two hidden chapters along with the secret stage, which I haven't unlocked yet. Um, but chapter four and five are essentially repeated chapters six and seven. It's the same stage, just told with additional dialogue. So I may do those, I may not, I'm not sure yet. So anyway, on with Operation, uh, Chapter 4 even, <laughs> Operation. Right, um, we'll be Krauser again. Oh, put me in his SOCOM gear. Oh, the other thing's turned off, so do this first. Yeah, because uh, the navigation controller doesn't turn off because it's always being moved, unless you have, like, cyborg arms. But the navigation controller, I think it's called, it does because it acts just like a pad and it turns off really quickly. So I'll have to find a way to sort that out at some point. Alright, for this stage, I'm going to swap that for that. I see for that. Because um, this stage has a lot of breakable objects in, which are good for money. So, uh, with that all done, let's go on to the next chapter. Here we go. Quite a few cutscenes in this one. Manuela told us everything she knew. When she was 15, she contracted the same fatal disease that her mother had. The Veronica virus was used as a form of treatment and consequently she recovered. It must have strengthened her cells. However, the virus can severely damage its host's brain cells and, if incompatible, will take them over. Completely. Even Ashford's researchers were unable to control it. There appears to be no exception to this, outside of Javier's treatment of Manuela. Somehow, he's managed to keep her from turning into a monster. Leon. We should take care of the girl before it gets too late. It's only a matter of time, Leon, before she becomes a threat. Javier knows something. He's been able to prevent Manuela from transforming. I have to take her with me and find out how. Antivirus weapon protocol number 7600. You're on a special assignment for the president. My mission is to eradicate this virus once and for all. And with your help, I intend to do just that. Well, I am a soldier. And if your orders are from the president, then I'm on your side. Let's go. Time to kick some ass. He sure went all out on security. Maybe he doesn't like door-to-door -door salesmen. The sacred snakes. What has he done? Strap of grenades. And let's use them to our advantage. Oh, so now I get headshots.
strike for a guy. Look, it's our welcoming party. Oh, they really shouldn't have. God, they're as bad as each other. This way. I think there's an underground passage. Nice try. No, thank you. Can be a little annoying at times when you're shooting something and it pulls you away. It's dark in here. That either the uh, gaps in the bars can't be shot through. Looks like it. Well, let's not wait around for inventory. <gasps> Shit, we're locked in. They're coming! The more you get in a row, the bigger the combo multiplayer. This looks promising. Good job, kid. Let's go. What? This is creepy. Javier's victims. Why would he? Let's keep going. We need to find this guy. Where do we go? Let's go this way. That's why we go left. Music here kind of reminds me of an old PlayStation Sega Saturn era game, Die Hard Arcade, which had a light gun shooting moment. Not Die Hard Arcade, Die Hard Trilogy. Die Hard Arcade was a Streets of Rage style reskin of a Japanese game called Dynamite Detective. There's some random trivia, not at all related to this. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. I know you ain't dead, you're just messing. Oh, come on. Thank you. That's more like it. Shit, again? Go on, that was close. Look, a letter. these guys they were my daughters it's my fault I made them tell me how they cured my illness and then my father yeah the normal grenades are better for that If you come in with normal grenades and just fill the room with them, you get a ton of drops. Apparently the grenade launch is not as effective.
gonna hate these little guys. Anubis guards. Well, not Anubis guards. <laughs> Oops. Uh, just Anubis. So I was never allowed to go. Take us there. What is this? It's a greenhouse. Yeah, more like a botanical garden. Gives me vague Plant 42 vibes. Having seen how much damage these guys inflict, I'm certainly not eager to let them get close. Come on! Leon, look! That's the former researcher from Umbrella. Shit. We needed to question him. Well, he's no good to us now. We have no choice. We gotta go up. Dude. Sort of a cross between the Chimeras and the Drain Demons from Res 3. Juggled that guy with bullets. <laughs> Surprise! I guess they don't know how to play nice. the guest room. Careful. 
Browser. Shut up. in there a cutscene got a bad feeling about this these are all human organs and girls. Manuela! Her organs must be transplanted regularly. What are you talking about? It helps with the pain, keeping the virus at bay. But that's only for the first 15 years. If you had just let me die, none of this would have ever happened. No. I couldn't just watch you die. In nature, the predators who prey on others only grow stronger and thrive. You crazy, selfish old fool! Considering you brought my daughter back, I will grant you that's meaning. Boss time. This thing back in the village. Manuela, don't come out. Stay in there. Again, with the it being invincible until it says so thing, I always find that annoying. Damn it. How are we supposed to kill it now? Cheap. You can't really do any damage to it till it tells you. Oh, so you can shoot it spit out there. Kind of. Jerky camera really doesn't help much here. There she goes. Again, back to being invincible. Really irritating. Manuela? 
Manuela, get out of here! Manuela, stop singing! Uh, I'm okay! Uh, I don't know why, but if I sing this song, it won't attack me. Oh no! Krauser, let's go! Still invincible. Yeah, hurry. Come on. All out of good stuff. Son of a bitch! This way, move! Careful, don't fall. Only really the opening bit of that fight that's the trouble. Javier's gone. We gotta go after him. I don't want to live if it means others have to die. So, the monster is actually Manuela's mother, as it turns out. Oh, this time we get an S for headshots and crap for everything else. Oh well. Yeah, only 16,000 gold from this one. Not as good as the other one. Okay. Well, see if I unlocked any files. No, no, no. I don't exactly remember running into those at any point. Uh, mercenary zombie. Right. Well, uh, that's another chapter down, and now we're on to the last one, assuming I don't do the extra ones. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.